the revenue management discipline has been accepted within the last decade and uh, most revenue managers are very savvy in revenue management and would like to expand their knowledge uh, into other areas such as food and beverage, function space, spa, golf, retail, you name it. However, expanding uh, the function into those different areas um, involve more complexities. Our clients um, actually tell us that the biggest challenge of moving into a different uh, revenue um, area apart from guest rooms um, is really organizational and cultural. And so that's why we at Ideas believe that the best way to tackle this uh, challenge is to follow three steps. One is know where your organization is now and build a roadmap. Second step is uh, build standard processes and procedures. And the third step is to really start thinking about your profits and not only revenue levels. So let's talk about these three steps a bit more in detail. Your roadmap. Well, first of all, you have to understand where your organization is currently to set a concise roadmap of the future. Make sure your roadmap has actionable items and timelines in them. Without them, as we all know, things might not happen in the time frame you would like them to be. Number two, standard processes and procedures. As we all know, data is the foundation of revenue management. If you don't have accurate and stable data, your decisions might not be optimal. So your standard processes and procedures will help you to get your data as accurate as possible. So start thinking about your collection, your reporting, your metrics, etc. But as well, start thinking about um, who is responsible for the function space and as well, um, who is responsible for optimizing the space. Should it be the revenue manager? Should it be the function space sales team? Should it be a new uh, position created within the organization? So you really have to start thinking about what works best for you and your organization. And last but not least, profitability. Start to think about the profits when you analyze your groups. So not only think about the revenues of your guest rooms or um, F&B spend, ancillary revenues, AV spend, flowers, whatever uh, a group might uh, like to have uh, when they are having an event in your hotel, but as well think about the underlying costs of all of these revenue streams and other costs associated such as set up and tear down times, commissions, discounts, complimentary rooms and really understand the total profit of your group. Once you understand the total profit of your group, you can start analyzing and making your displacement analysis with apple to apple comparison. And you really know which business to take that is most profitable for you and your hotel at this particular stay period. But not only think about your group business, you will have to start thinking profitability for your entire organization. Your incentives will have to change, um, your total hotel budgets will have to change because maybe you are not again optimizing revenues but you are optimizing profits which might sometimes which is uh, sometimes maybe a controversial way of thinking of it you might actually make more profit with less revenue so um, you really have to think um, about all of these different steps when embarking on the journey of total revenue management